Well, here we are. We've come almost to the end of our, our journey together. And it's a little bit sad for us because, you know, this is our first ever college for profits. And you have been such wonderful students, haven't they? Yes, I mean, just just the inaugural class. The inaugural, yeah. Inaugural and, and class. So it's very, very, um, it's it's a deep thing for me. We want to address you for the last time, and do we do encourage you to be on the next course because we're already preparing for that. It's going to be very, very good. It's going to be um, about revelation, and it's more than just teaching out of the book of Revelation, but applying it to today and how it would affect you prophetically. Okay, look here. We have a few responses I'd like to read to you. Um, and I, the question I asked you is, what do you see? And we had some magnificent responses. Uh, Miranda, you had some. She went through a lot of these. And, and I want to personally just thank the moderators and the work that they've done yes. during this time. It's been, uh, it's been a learning curve for us personally, but, but also... I've, we just we were able to interact, and I, it I just see means that the next uh, class is going to be so much better mm -hmm. uh, because it of is. what we've been through now. It is going to be better, and I'm more prepared. Uh, not prepared. Prepared is not the word. I, I began to get. I wasn't used to dealing with uh, students. Uh, I thought I wouldn't deal with it well, but I did. I, th I think I did anyway, because the people are writing and saying how much they enjoyed it. So. So what did you see? And you will be seeing things after this as well, students, because you're more than just students now. You're moving out where God will tr entrust you with so much and give you tasks to do. He will do it. This dear lady writes in, oh, it's Mary, Mary Abijadi. <laughs> and I was very impressed with this. And uh, <laughs> thank you, Mary. She's a, a dear friend, her and her husband, her family, but also a student and has been deeply involved in what we do. As a follower of 15 years of the ministry, it, is, it has consolidated and solidified a greater articulation of the expressions and foundations of Kim's prophetic teaching of the Word of God. In a fresh and contemporary context for cultural, intellectual, and innovative relevance. Wow, I couldn't have put that better myself. Mary, where did you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> Graduate school level stuff for mature, committed servant. Thanks and love, Mary Abujadi. Thank you, Mary. You are very special to us, and yes. that means a lot to me as well because that tells what, uh, what, you, what your evaluation of this was, and that is important to me. Okay, what else did we get there now? Just a few of them. Um, I love this one. She's, she's saying that your school has given me the courage to start a website which is prophetic trading. I knew my call as of now was to intercede for and command the Dow, the stock market. Your school helped me step out of the boat and go on record with where the market was going. This is for the purpose of building his kingdom on earth. Great. That is that is fantastic. Uh, you know, I read one there where, where somebody yeah, wrote, I, I love really me. like that. I love more of me. Or I like me very much. Stop, stop right there. I like me very much. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people didn't like me. No, not me. <laughs> but they didn't like themselves. And we spoke about self-prejudice. The fact that if I told you or God said to you, you're a very special right. person, the first thing you think about is your weakness, your failures, your flaws, and your sins. And God doesn't see that. And, and so because of his, the blood of his son. However, self-prejudice was, de was definitely one of the major things that were dealt with during the, this, this course. Because mm -hmm. I had a lot of people writing in and say, saying to me, I had to deal with the problem of self-prejudice, and that helped a lot of people. Thank you. And now that you was the majority of the, the answers that poured in, were okay. that they were, were more confident, they believed in themselves more than ever, they'd been told differently by the church, unfortunately, and, and various leaders and such, and how they are now inspired to, to, to go and be who they're supposed to be and in their element and so forth. That's right, because that's, that's, great. that's the creativity, the innovation. So you're very special very very special maybe you've got one more you can read but we what? did read the, the projects you know a lot of you when we wrote what do you see somebody said um De you know various That's things and, and and you know somebody may say it's laughable what they saw you know well when god said to jeremiah what do you see and he said i see a branch god didn't go rolling on the floor laughing at him because actually and that was kind of a Strange thing it was. Say. It was very plain. It was very simple. But God said, you have seen correctly. Right. And because you have seen correctly, it aligns yourself with me so there can be a, an optical fusion. 
And that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. You may think it's stupid because somebody told you. I've been told a number of times that's pretty dumb. And then it's come to pass. And then I, then I, then I look for them. I say, what did, what did you say about that again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm not that vindictive. But I'm just saying, you know, you want to go back and say, and they, and oftentimes, and I must share this, I, when I've been laughed at, like the example I gave uh, the other day when I was talking about um, one of the people that, uh, that was in affected by my ministry in 1978 was just a nobody in the church. And I went to this little church and told this guy that he was going to have one of the biggest churches in that land. And um, they actually laughed at me. They, they told me I was completely stupid. And the pastor did. He said, you, you've, you've lost your mind. And he said, you know, your, your kind of prophecies, we've got to put on the, the top shelf. Wait for them to come to pass. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah. And, but it did. And he did have one of the biggest churches in that country. Right. And that person came to me and said sorry, the pastor. And, uh, you know, there's very few people that do that, but it's just a, a great feeling when you've seen something and you're degraded by mm. people, and, but it was right. And so a lot of you wrote here what, what you've seen. For instance, this one person writes, Deborah says, I see an army of faceless people with power, like lightning bolts, changing the atmosphere and environment everywhere they go. That's exactly right. And that's, that's a vision. Uh, you see that because that's what you wa God wants you to be involved in. Faceless people, you know, um, I don't have the interpretation of that, but does anybody have it here? My spiritual giants, do you have any? <laughs> You're looking at me? <laughs> I'm looking at Maggie, actually. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know. Oh, no, I don't have Okay. No, I, and, the, and there's definitely a translation to that, um, that faceless, which could mean that they are all one. You know, they don't, uh, they're not moved right. by anything. They're not moved by emotion. You can't like see the expressions. Right. So they are, they are uh, like Jeremiah, you know, God said, don't look at their faces. Mm -hmm. He said, because, you know, you're not going to be moved by it. It could mean a lot of things. But, you know, you could take just a simple sentence like that and, and realize that there's so much more in it. And I'm just looking at that now. But I, I'm already starting to get stuff out of that. So okay. thank you, Deborah, for writing that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then she writes, it's been a true honor. To be a part of the first school of the prophet. Thank you so much for your obedience to God. To step out and do something so unique to us. You have stirred your students. May God reward you greatly for being who he created and following his lead. Words on, aren't enough to express what you and Jane have been used by God to do. Go, Kim Clement, go. Love that. That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's all the time we're going to give you now because you, you sure? want to say something yeah, else? Yeah, I think we should just do these two more. Okay, is that okay? Good. That's fine with me. This is the last yeah. one, so we can just go a little bit. Okay, um, this is from Mary Beth, and she said, the wisdom, this is what inspired her the most, the wisdom, understanding, <laughs> and teaching ability of Professor Kim. He's an awesome example. I've heard many of his prophecies through the years, but in class I feel as if I got to know him personally. Mm -hmm. That is more valuable than all his prophecies, yet gives more importance to his words. I greatly love and respect Professor Kim by the Spirit and feel joined to him like never before. That's why class needs to go on. <laughs> and sh this is uh, the reason I wanted to read this, because so they posed a good actually. question to you. Professor Kim, was this class all that you had envisioned it to be? I cannot thank you enough for all that you have done. Well, that's why I said earlier yes. on as well. It's so much, so, so much more. Uh, I, I feel very, gr I, there's so much, I feel complete in the fact that I've started something that I never thought I would do well. I didn't think I'd do it with such peace. I thought I'd have a little, and I must admit in the beginning when I started, it wasn't, it wasn't easy mm -hmm. because I'm, you, you know, for you it's that. It's different. You guys that know me, and I appreciate what that you read that because that says a lot more than the prophecies. That to be to get to know the person is very important. But you know, th the fact is that I'm used to crowds. I'm used to you know the chemistry of the people, the, the atmosphere. Audience. You know the, the the big sound system which helps me in the music going. So I thought, oh, I'm never going to be able to stand and you know uh, keep my attention on this. And but I did, and and um, and thank you to my beautiful team of workers that have been with me you know the cameras and sound and everything all you guys just did a great job i want to applaud you as well 
all of those that work behind the scenes. Yeah. Danny, I won't forget you, darling. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody was involved, all the moderators. Yeah. You can applaud them. And yeah. so thank you. And um, words, words are not enough to express what you and Jane have been used by God to do. What a beautiful thing to say. And, and uh, you know, we are encouraged and we're going to move on and do the next course. So we'll see you there. Thank you very much. We love you.